We're here in Ortaköy, Istanbul. Ortaköy is a district of Istanbul on the Bosphorus, but it's also set in the middle of the dense Istanbul fabric. We're at the entrance to one of the Bosphorus bridges. Behind us is the entrance ramp to the bridge, but also we're in the very thick Istanbul urban fabric with shopping centers, residential areas. Here, GAD Architectures Project 1 in Ortaköy has sought to bring together natural elements to create a kind of urban oasis. This project has a very unique application of stone. This is a kind of volcanic stone called Ünye stone, uh, and it comes from the Black Sea area of Turkey. And you can see that the uh, patterns here, there's two things going on. There's a coursing design. Coursing means uh, the way the individual tile and the stone blocks are organized. So you have a big tile with a narrower tile with a narrower one. So that creates one kind of geometry, but at the same time, the architects, GAD, has tried to integrate the different textures and patterns of the stone itself. Uh, it's not like marble, you have more washes of color, uh, but these kinds of organic shapes here uh, reflect in some ways the organic shapes of the whole building. So between the rigid coursing and then the rounded geometries and the different colors, you have a red, you have a white, uh, it creates a kind of dynamic, organic geometry that really adds to the architecture. And it's not just on the facade, but it's also on the soffits, it's on the roof, and it's also on the pavers. So this kind of combination of all these stones, their textures, their colors, organized in a heterogeneous fashion. Many times in architecture, you want a sort of homogeneous application of stone, but here, the heterogeneous combinations creates a color pattern which is quite vivid, implemented with this organic, rounded forms of the building. the roof garden, the roof terrace of this project. One in Ortaköy is a residential project that GAD has designed to be able to create a kind of urban natural oasis here in Istanbul. This is actually a very dense part of the city. Behind me you see the entrance to one of the Bosphorus bridges, the viaduct. It's always very crowded. Behind me is the district of Ortaköy, which is also a very dense part of town. The object with this project has been to create a kind of natural oasis in the city. Here on the roof garden, the garden has been organized in a way to take advantage of the views and the location here, but also it creates a kind of natural setting. The natural setting we can see here with the landscaping, these reeds, we have uh, vines that have overgrown the existing building to create a kind of natural setting over time. The use of natural materials such as stone, but also here, uh, this wood timber, the texture of the wood can be seen. Overall, the context provides a natural setting which the architecture's organic shapes have taken and moved past into a kind of urban organic synthesis. The natural setting, it's a kind of park here on top of the building and the organic shapes of both the steel architecture and the way that elements of nature, such as this tree, which exists with inside this architecture, to create a kind of synthesis of architecture and nature. The organic form of the steel structure, over time we have vines that have grown on top of it. The architecture is a kind of long-term attempt to deal with this natural setting and give the residents of this building a kind of exterior location, an outside location, to be able to take advantage of nature to be able to take advantage of sun and air. It's an extra added part of the urban experience that GAD has always tried to push in terms of an architecture that takes advantage of its location in different contexts, whether it's the oasis as a garden area downstairs in the interior area as a courtyard or up here in this terrace where we're up maybe 20, 30 meters above the urban fabric. But here we have a nice park setting as if we were walking in a park in the middle of the city, but we're actually on top of a building in the middle of a very dense urban fabric. Natural textures and forms can be achieved using different materials. Here we have this exposed timber surfaces, and the geometry of these surfaces have been created here in a kind of organic rounded forms, but you can actually see the graining of the timber itself, and this is a part of the strategy to create natural conditions. And the texture of the wood is 
one of the natural textures that we can see here, along with the stone and along with the natural floral elements. At the same time, you can see an element of craft here. These caps of these columns have been implemented with a kind of galvanized steel, but it's been put together in a way that over time, that's also that has gotten oxidized and created a natural pattern. So these patterns over time, whether it's timber, whether it's galvanized steel, or whether it's this vine that's overgrown the steel structure here, has created a kind of melding together of all these organic forms and shapes and textures over time to create a really a nice, wonderful condition on top of this building here, which is a kind of natural oasis on top of a residential development in the dense urban city. Roof Terrace during the pandemic was used extensively by its residents during lockdowns as a kind of natural location and exterior location. And we can see that in cities today, this relationship of living within the urban cent center, living in this urban density, but this relationship with nature here has been pretty much successfully pulled together because in cities today, our relationship to nature has gotten removed. We have removed from nature, but this roof garden, and this is an architectural strategy that GAD Architecture has implemented in a number of its projects and has tried to advocate as a lobbying within the urban setting in terms of the municipality to create more opportunities for roof gardens, to take advantage of the natural setting, to take advantage of the exterior location, because we know that we need to have Humans need to have some relationship to the environment, whether it's air, whether it's this vines, this nature, and the roof garden as a typology within these buildings has really allowed that. This is something GED architecture, Gyokon Avjol specifically, has tried to push with urban representatives in the metropolitan municipality, within local municipalities, and here we can see a very successful application of a roof garden strategy.